Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with the next review of the Terror in the Isles Challenge. This time, Jason and I watched Invasion of the Body Snatchers. It's a big conspiracy. Invasion of the Body Snatchers is the 1978 horror remake of the 1956 film of the same name. This is the fourth and final film featured in both Terror in the Isles and on Fangoria's list of the 101 best horror movies you've never seen. That means that Jason and I already watched and reviewed this one during the Fangoria challenge. Just like my previous reviews for the other three movies included in both challenges, I'll keep this one brief. I discussed in my Fangoria review for Invasion of the Body Snatchers how terrifying this movie is, and I stand by that. This is a truly scary movie. It's set and filmed on location in San Francisco. Donald Sutherland plays public health inspector Matthew Bennell. Brooke Adams plays his colleague and close friend, Elizabeth Driscoll. One day, after finding a strange flower and bringing it home, Elizabeth notices her husband Jeffrey, played by Art Hindle, begins acting strange himself. Others in the city have been making the same claim about people close to them. This includes Matthew and Elizabeth's friends, Jack and Nancy, played by Jeff Goldblum and Veronica Cartwright, respectively. They've noticed a change in their clients at their business. Matthew's psychiatrist friend, played by Leonard Nimoy, is called for advice. Something weird is going on. Something not of this planet. Seeds have fallen to Earth from space. Those seeds grow into flowers, and whomever comes in contact with them changes. The flowers then evolve into pods, which give birth to exact replicants of those people. As the pod person population grows, there is no telling who is an original and who's a remake. Sort of fitting for what I consider to be one of the greatest horror remakes of all time. Invasion of the Body Snatchers. The scariest thing about this movie, for me anyway, is the whole conspiracy angle. There's something so terrifying about everyone being involved in something while you're not. You don't know who to turn to or who to trust. I'm pretty sure I definitely talked about this in my previous review of this movie though, so I won't go into greater detail. Invasion of the Body Snatchers has a strong PG rating. You have to remember though, this was released before the PG-13 rating existed. Even still, the movie really looks like an R-rated film. The scare factor alone was worthy of an R. Not to mention, Invasion of the Body Snatchers features nudity. There is a scene of Brooke Adams standing there completely topless. It's fairly lengthy too, considering this was rated PG. The practical effects are top-notch in Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I think I said last time there is some sick stuff in this, and yep, there is. That damn dog. And of course, I'm pretty sure we all remember the iconic ending. I loved Invasion of the Body Snatchers just as much, if not more, than I did last time. It's just one of those movies. I almost forget how good it is until I revisit it. So I'm glad it was featured in Terror in the Isles. Last time I showed my Blu-ray DVD combo pack, which came in a DVD case. This here is my VHS release in the MGM book box, and it opens like this. Last time I also recommended Body Snatchers, the remake of the remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. This time my relatable recommendation is the most recent loose remake, Assimilate. Assimilate was released in 2019 and stars Andy Matichik, who plays Allison in the most recent Halloween franchise timeline. It's basically a teen remake of Invasion of the Body Snatchers with a modern day twist. It has something else in common with the movie too. While Invasion of the Body Snatchers was rated PG and featured nudity, 
Assimilate was rated PG-13 and features nudity. And yes, I know what you're thinking. It is from her. I really liked Assimilate, but no one seems to even know about it. So, it's my relatable recommendation. Have you seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. And please be sure to check out Jason's review. There's no conspiracy. We'll be back soon with the next review of The Terror in the Isles Challenge. Until then, thanks for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up and be kind. Subscribe. <laughs>